This morning in Project Fitness, whether you practice yoga or like to work out, this fitness mat can withstand it all. It's called the R Yolo Yoga Mat, and it's easy to reuse, being machine washable and dryable as well. This morning, we're joined by Donnelly, CEO and President of R Yolo Mat, to discuss how it all works. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I was just saying, how, first of all, how beautiful the mats are, how well made the mats are. How did you come up with this idea, and why did you want to do something? like this? Um, well, I was going to classes at my club and um, using the mats at the right. club and, you know, realizing they were pretty um, skeevy and didn't get cleaned. Sure. And then I was using the um, wipes and I was told, don't use the wipes because they're full of chemicals. And, you know, so we're going down a road here that wasn't very promising. Right. So um, it planted the seed with, with what I needed to do. And I did some research to see if anything like this existed, and it didn't. Yeah. Um, and then I did a manifesting class um, in January 1st, 2020, where I said, you know, I want to make a, a machine washable, machine dryable yoga mat. And I journaled for 21 days, and on the 22nd day, the materials that I needed to do this came to me instantaneously. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. That's a miracle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really cool. All right, talk about where the where the name came from. I mean, I was reading what the name is, and it's very cool, but tell everybody where the name came from. Um, so r Yolo stands for Remember You Only Live Once. So true. And um, it was a Father's Day, uh, June uh, 2018, and I had just left my yoga practice and um, feeling really good, limber. And I was unfortunately in a situation where I um, fell onto my car as it was rolling backwards. Oh my God. Yeah, and um, I probably should have died, but I didn't. Right. Um, I broke my pelvis and some broken ribs and it kind of pivoted me and I got a bigger purpose in life. Right. So that's why I came up with the name, um, Remember You Only Live Once. And that is, that is so true. And one of the other exciting things that was on the website as well in, and checking it out is you were part of the, the Oscar swag bags, which are always these incredible yeah. gifts that folks who attend the Oscars get to get to uh, you know to have. How did you get the mats in the in the in the bags? Um, I was actually out in Pasadena at a yoga expo, and I traveled up to visit my cousin in Pacific Palisades, and I wound up at a hotel, um, went into their gift shop. Mm -hmm. The owner of the gift shop um, promotes new products. Okay. And I told him why I was out in California, and he says, well, I do the swag bags for the Oscars. Do you Sign us up. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I seem to be in the right place at the right time. So that's how that happened. And, um, you know, I didn't really anticipate what that was going to be like. Right. You know, I'm like, do I have to attend? He's like, well, yeah. <laughs> so okay. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. So far, so yeah, good. Yeah, and I'm like, okay. So now um, I had to get like 100 mats out to uh, Los Angeles sure. and... Uh, six weeks. They right. weren't even made yet, wow. so I'm like cramming to get everything done. Um, so I show up. It was a two-day event at uh, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, and it was like amazing. Well, I, we were ta we were talking a little while ago, saying that uh, even you know Rhode Island, you know Viola, uh, Viola yeah. has one, and, and you've become you know somewhat close with her, and she loves her her yoga yeah, mat. Yeah, that's true. Which yeah. is great. Um, talk about how they're made, because I know you were saying to me that they were made in Cranston, but they're still made close by, right in in Massachusetts. Yeah, now, right? Holyoke. Yeah, in Holyoke, yeah. Mass. Yeah. So um, it's important for my branding that they're made in the U.S., mm -hmm. and I'm grateful that it's so close to me that I can check in on the you know manufacturing process they're all handmade so it takes about 40 minutes to make a mat right um, and basically it's three layers on the top layer is a Turkish towel that's imported from Turkey okay and then I have a uh, it's called the single-sided fusible foam in the middle for padding mm -hmm. as well as uh, making it easier to manufacture got it because the towel can be a little um, difficult to sew if it doesn't have something to support it. And then on the bottom is a non-slip rubber that they actually use on sailboats. Okay. And it's a non-PVC rubber, so um, that's important to me as well. Yeah. Um, and then 
we just put it all together and and um, there you go um you go. The, quickly if somebody does want to buy this and they I, I know you can wash it do you just toss this in the regular washing machine regular washing machine and in the dryer that's great yeah that's, that's great the well, beauty it's, of it's it. good stuff and so many people really do love doing yoga working out and it's a great great thing to have like I said it's sustainab incredibly sustainable right. and it'll, it'll I've had mine for four years so right. it'll last a really yeah. long time really well made and we yeah. match today right <laughs> match I'm matching the yoga mat Donna thanks so much for coming <laughs> thank in you. thank good you good to see you you can shop our Yola, which is a very cool name, Mats, and find out more about their collaborations over at roadshow.com.